from Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Nicole Nolepa, and here are some of the top stories we're following for you this morning. The House is on track to impeach President Trump again today, this time on charges that he incited a mob to storm the Capitol last week. Last night, the House approved a resolution urging Vice President Mike Pence to remove the president from office by invoking the 25th Amendment. Pence rejected the idea in a letter to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, calling it beyond his constitutional authority and not in the nation's best interest. Meantime, federal prosecutors may file sedition charges against some of the participants in the attack on the Capitol. The FBI says it has already filed more than 70 cases, adding that its investigation has just started and many more arrests are likely. And we're learning that more than 100 members of Connecticut's National Guard will be in our nation's capital to help with inauguration security. This comes at the request of U.S. National Guard officials. They say they will be there to ensure a peaceful transition of power. We turn you now to the latest on the coronavirus. Connecticut's positivity rate is now at its highest number since the pandemic started, standing at just under 11 percent. But the next wave of people getting vaccinations in our state could grow to over 1 million. The CDC is now recommending people 65 and older be a part of phase 1B, which is set to start on Monday. And we're also learning that Connecticut is getting tens of thousands of extra doses of the vaccine. The federal government told Governor Lamond this is because of how quickly and efficiently our state has been vaccinating people. Now for the latest on that forecast, let's get right over to Scott. All right, things are looking pretty good, Nicole. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 30s, low 40s during the day today. It's going to be a nice day with partly to mostly sunny skies. Uh, and again, ranging from 37 to 44. 44 for the shoreline, 37 for northwest Connecticut. Your overnight lows tonight, not bad. 17, the typical overnight low. We're going to be in the mid to upper 20s, if not low 30s along the shoreline. Partly to mostly cloudy tonight and seasonably cold. Your seven-day forecast, maybe a brief rain or snow shower tomorrow morning, but then becoming partly cloudy in the afternoon. Friday, most Mostly cloudy and dry during the daylight hours and then rain rolls in Friday night through Saturday and could pick up anywhere from a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain before it all ends as a little bit of light snow Saturday afternoon and early evening. Sunday is definitely the better of the two weekend days. Monday some light snow and then Tuesday is dry but seasonably cool with a high of 35. Have a great day everybody. Thanks for watching.